What's going on assassins? This is Dark Shard of the YouTube Assassin. And there are some very strange things afoot in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, we all know about a lot of these mysteries going on that we haven't solved yet. The Odin's runes, uh, the mastery challenges with Hildrain and Odin's eye, and the mystery of St. Dennis. But what was really crazy was yesterday, if you looked at the trophy list, for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, it seems that there's a new DLC, The Tombs of the Fallen. And strangely enough, there are only two trophies here, which is kind of weird because one says that you complete one tomb and the other one is complete three tombs. So I don't think that they would be so small that they would only have three tombs. That's just kind of weird. But there's been a lot of speculation as to what's it going on, what's it about, and what this could actually mean. What tombs are they referring to? So now, some people have speculated that it has something to do with the St. Denis uh, mystery over here, where you're in Francia and you find this little area, which is to like the west of St. Denis. You come down this path and you go all the way to the end and there's like this mysterious spot. Now, I don't think that it would have something to do with this tomb, although, you know, I'm putting it out there just to get your opinion. This is what I want to talk to you about. What do you think? Do you think that it has something to do with this? This is a tomb, but it's only one. Are they gonna open up this path? Because as far as we know, all there is to this tomb is this little note right here. You can't go past that grate that you saw in the beginning, that gate actually. There is a little grate over here. And if you look back there, it leads to all kinds of things that kind of look Isu in nature. And if you use Odin Sight, you actually see a bunch of words written there and it's just very strange. Now, a lot of people have gone back there using Smart Glitch Gaming's uh, fish hook and jumping through so that they could kind of phase through the wall. They've gotten great pictures of that and they've also done the same thing here and it's a dead end. So is this new thing going to open up this tomb? As far as I know, I believe they said that this was solvable right now that we had all the tools. I could recall, I think I recall, a tweet from someone who said that we already have all the tools we need for that. Another piece of speculation is that it has something to do with the Odin's illusionary runes. We know that behind all of these runes there is a cave. It's not a complete cave, it's a very small cave. But we know from phasing through again with the fish hook trick and even this cave specifically that we can go back there and that there is something that is supposed to be there. Now, whenever we've gone, we know that it's completely empty, it's devoid of anything. Uh, every time there's a new update, there are certain things that just out of nowhere appear. Like back here, there used to be holes like where the ground and where the walls were together. There were actually some holes there. Now it looks like there's some like rocks and dirt there which they used to patch up, you know, that area. They didn't close this area off completely, but this is what we see whenever we phase through these walls. Now, could these tombs have something to do with the Odin's runes mystery? Well, if there's only three tombs, then it can't be because there are three times that, as far as Odin runes go, we found nine of them. And... Although, in all honesty, even though there are nine and the trophies are only for three tombs, it is possible that there are way more and they get challenging as you go along. But I always thought that this had something to do with the Eye of Odin that we found from Hildrain when we did the mastery challenges. I thought that maybe, you know, it had something to do with that. The Eye was going to actually be charged because every time you see her, she says she's still working on it that the eye would be fully charged and we would be able to actually use it to open up his illusionary runes. Maybe the key is actually whatever these tombs of the fallen are. 
maybe these things actually hold tombs and maybe it'll have something to do with Odin. Who knows? Maybe new gear, weapons, and what have you. The other weird thing is that maybe it has something to do actually with this location here because there are exactly three doors that we see here. Although maybe again, it may not be. It may be that we have three doors that lead to three different realms or they represent three different realms and that's why these things are here. But if I was going to go for three tombs, this is it right here. Maybe there's a way to unlock it. Maybe there's a way to move the lava, the ice, and the wood in order to actually go through there. And we're going to explore it. Maybe that's really what the Mastery Challenges Part 2 are. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it is Odin's runes. I don't know, but this is kind of exciting. I don't think that this would be a full-blown DLC, though, because it's only... Like I said, it's only two trophies. I've normally seen... You know, like three to five. But then again, I could be wrong. But then again, does it have something to do with Cassandra's appearance? Maybe that is the preparation for the third DLC with Cassandra. I don't know. But what do you think? I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Do you think that we're on the right path? Do you think it has to do with Odin's runes? The mystery of St. Denny? Or does it have to do with the mastery challenges and Hildrain holding Odin's eye. I'd love to hear from you again. Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you in the next one. You know how we end it. Yeah, yeah.